so it's just started raining here in the UK which you can probably hear this is a video that I've been thinking about doing for a few months now but just never had the time to do it but one of the biggest problem is when you're a youtuber or a filmmaker is filming in the rain how do you keep yourself dry and how do you keep your camera dry you see you could use one of these which is an action camera with a dedicated waterproof case but the only problem with this is the rain still hits the lens so what happens is you get all the smudging and smearing and basically you can't see what you're filming anyway even if you do use one of these now just to show you that this can work with any camera I'm going to use this DJI Osmo Pocket and show you how I keep the footage dry okay so what you need is some kind of uh, housing where you can mount it to a clamp I use this cage very cheap off eBay and then we can attach GoPro attachments to it and it has a I think it's a quarter of an inch thread on the bottom then what you need is a clamp we mount the clamp to the thread so we now have our camera with a clamp on the bottom sorry about the rain noise now what we do we grab our um umbrella and very simply we mount the clamp to the umbrella like so as you can see this is facing me but we can turn this around no problem and then it will be filming under the umbrella you've got hold of the umbrella and you're just going to keep yourself dry and the camera dry no problems at all so that's one way now I know what you're probably thinking oh I like filming with a DLSR, DSLR camera or a mirrorless camera with a gimbal uh, how do you do that then well let me show you that also let me just take this off so you film with a DSLR or mirrorless camera and you might even have a gimbal and you'd like to keep it dry whilst filming in the rain okay let me show you how to set this up so we can film in the rain I'll leave the camera off but the camera would naturally attach to the gimbal right what you need is one of these handles and these come with all threads down the side and on this Ronin SC we have a way of mounting that on the side like that I'm sure with other gimbals there's ways of mounting it but this gives us a second handle let me just quickly mount this and then we'll come back and show you how to do the rest okay we've mounted the handle to the gimbal we now basically have a two handle setup you could actually have three if you wanted but it's not necessary okay now what we're going to do is very simple we get our umbrella we get the umbrella like so and we're going to use two clamps to mount it to the side of our handle like so okay we've got one of the clamps fitted onto the handle the handle actually gives us the room needed so it misses the edge of the gimbal when it's set up you may have noticed also that I've put a rubber grommet in between the clamp and the handle that's just so we can get tension and the right angle to put the umbrella's grip in here right let's put the second clamp on and then show you the umbrella okay so we have the two clamps on our gimbal let's grab our umbrella now this is a little bit tricky but I'm sure you'll manage so you put the handle of the umbrella in the clamps just like so make sure they're nice and tight and then what you do is you hold this and your gimbal as you walk with your camera let me just mount the camera to it and show you it fully set up And there you have it, we have the umbrella and gimbal mounted side by side, you'd use it as a two hand operation, the gimbal keeps the camera dead level and by keeping it as low as possible on the handle of the umbrella we make sure that the umbrella isn't in shot. 
This will keep you and the camera dry whilst filming in the rain. So there we go. What I'll do, I'll link all this in the description below in the clamps I used. I'll even try and find this particular umbrella. It's quite nice this umbrella because it has two indents and it seems to help the clamps just wrap around them. So there you have it. How to keep yourself dry, how to keep your camera dry and how to get footage in the rain. Hope you found this really useful. What I'll do, like I said, I'll link all the parts in the description. If you found this useful, give it a like, which is just down there. And why not subscribe to my channel? Thank you so, so much for watching. Stay safe and we'll catch up soon.